Hello and welcome back to Metal Gear Survive. Uh, last time we left off, uh, we made it back to Afghanistan, and uh, we had to stop Seth. We fought Seth, and uh, now we have to repair Sahelanthropus, and uh, we have to destroy the Lord of Dust. And uh, that's the only way we're going to stop this uh, time loop, because apparently we're not in another dimension. We are uh, in the future. Um, since we last played, I... Uh, fixed everything that Seth destroyed my base, which turns out to be a lot of stuff. So yeah, I had to repair it, and then I had to rebuild some stuff. He completely destroyed a bunch of stuff. I'm not 100% sure I even rebuilt it all. Um, I got some better gear, uh, but right now we have to go get a memory board in Africa. So we came back to Africa, and uh, we're going to teleport over to closer to where the memory board is. See? Um, off camera, I came over here, I explored, I came up here, I came up here, this is the, this is where the map stops. This part is from uh, the Phantom Pain. Um, you'll recognize it if you played it. Uh, I actually was opening loot boxes in this area, and I stumbled on the uh, A memory board, but it wasn't, I don't remember it being in this area. See, this is the mansion, and I think I found the memory board, it was a slot for a memory board in like a server looking room. Uh, in this area, but we're gonna head up over here anyway and uh, have a look for it So we have to teleport over here, and then we have to go through the jungle and make our way up to the mansion. It looks like All right We have a marker set I gotta come back and loot this stuff sometime, huh? All right, so we're gonna I don't know how long we're gonna be out here So we're gonna just try to run past everything we can and save as much uh, oxygen as we can. I built one of those, uh, if I could get it right there, um, a portable oxygen thing, and uh, I put it out of harm's way, and it still somehow got destroyed. It was really cool though while it lasted. You basically just walk up to it and your oxygen comes back. And then I, uh, I made another one and put it on top of a building to ensure that nobody destroyed it because they can't climb and it still somehow got destroyed so I don't know if it's a glitch or uh, I mean it had to have been a glitch because where I placed it there's no way that anybody could have got to it you hear that hissing that's those uh, little things that hide underground oh and he got me son of a bitch there's one right there let's try to avoid him Climb up this. Alright, so here's the bridge. It leads to the mansion. If you played Metal Gear Solid uh, 5 The Phantom Pain, parts of the game that we've already played should look familiar, and then. I didn't even notice, but, uh. Where our. Oh shit. Where our base camp is. In Africa. The little base camp we have. That is where we fought the uh, man on fire and the phantom pain and we had to put him out with water and then uh, that's where the that's where we're at that's where the fight takes place oh, shit I really hope we're going in the right direction because I can't see anything <laughs> oh here's a box Pay attention to your should we risk it you should rest before you're out of gas. let's risk it I was going to say a little risk never hurt nobody, but that is not true. Shit, the bomber heard me. Did he hear me? Let's see if we can stealth kill this bomber, and then we should be good. Alright. Oh, good, there was a guy sleeping. I think we're good. Let's see if the music stops. Oh. Now we're good. Uh, we have 70% oxygen. Should be good. Oh, this is a hard one. I've opened two or three hard ones now. They're a little harder, but they're not that bad. Uh, material case blue. Recipe for light protection light protective helmet and uh, that is all 
we will loot another time. We uh, we can't be out here for very long. I have a feeling we went the wrong way. It's uh. Are you shitting me? We were going the wrong way. We just got out of the dark zone. All right, so we somehow went across the same bridge. Don't ask me how. Yeah, there's that box. So we just had to keep going in this direction. Um, how the hell did we get all the way over here? I'm really confused. Get the hell off me. Son of a bitch, here's that bridge. You know, when, when, when I came here off camera, I made it to this mansion without ever deviating from the path I was taking. I made it there without any trouble on my first try. And now that I'm recording this, you can bet your ass it's gonna be a pain to get here. Yo. We need oxygen bad. All right. Let's uh, let's drink some milk because it's gonna go bad. We'll eat some of these uh, long ear hedgehogs. I'll just eat one. That should be enough. There's dudes everywhere. This guy's gonna grab me, of course. Oh boy. What the hell? Oh wood. I can take those apart for wood. I've never seen those before in the game yet. Maybe there won't be dust in here, because uh, we uh, have to transfer energy and make it into oxygen, and we didn't repair our oxygen tank, so it's really expensive right now. We might be in trouble, depending on how long we have to be in here. Yeah, see, this is the uh, this is the mansion from the Phantom Pain, where we had to rescue that old guy, the one that uh, fixed that problem with the... Uh, with that, uh, what is it? A language disease? Wow, I did not think that door was going to open. There's some medicine. Oh boy. I don't hear any hissing, so I don't think those things that burrow underground are in here. But uh, we're going to have a problem because oxygen is. Oxygen's going to drop pretty quick, and it's going to be expensive to replace it. So the faster we find this board, the, um, the best, the better we'll make out, the better. And here's the library from the uh, Phantom Pain. I've hit in here a couple of times. <laughs> Phantom Pain was such a good game. It's one of the few games that I could load up and play beginning to end and literally have the same amount of interest in it. Wow, it's dark in here. Shit. Where the hell's this board? Ah. How did he not see or hear that? Somebody noticed that bow shot. Alright, 54% oxygen. If we haul ass, we might be able to get back without converting anymore. See, what's weird is when you shoot an arrow at the wall, they don't look to see where the arrow landed. They look they know exactly where it came from, which is odd to me. Alright, so what kind of bad shit's gonna happen when we take this board? Or transfer the board, I should say. Okay. Alright. Let's 
get the hell out of here. We're gonna have to go the way we came. Ah, oh, don't worry, we'll come back and loot this place. I'll either loot it off camera, or uh, we will come back. Is there another way out of this place? Well, it's getting brighter. It's leading me to believe. Well, look at this. Huh, when I was here, off camera, I was trying to figure out a way to get inside of this uh, mansion. And I could, not find, I could not find a way in. So was there a way in this whole time? Is there steps? I don't know. Yeah, we wouldn't been able to get in. It wouldn't surprise me if that door was locked. Um, now that we're done with this mission. Um, how much oxygen? We have 38. Let's uh, convert some more. 2,500. We still have 125,000, actually, so we we actually have a decent amount. So if there's a teleporter somewhere around here, we would be we'd be fine. Um. So I guess technically I'm in a dark zone and I can't place my marker, which is uh, kind of bad for us. All right, let's just head back in this direction. Alright, my, uh, my food team is doing pretty good back at base camp. Yet Seth, when I had to fight him, he blew up like two or three of my workstations and I didn't realize it until I had to use one of them. He destroyed one of my rainwater tanks and he damaged a whole bunch of stuff and I had to use so many resources to make uh, ammo for my bow and everything that I couldn't even fix most of the stuff or rebuild it. So I had to go farm for a while. I played uh, two online matches because you get a crap ton of resources as rewards when you complete an online uh, salvage mission. I should do a, I should do a, a video of me just doing a salvage mission or two. Those are pretty fun. If everybody knows what to do, and their gear isn't under leveled and they're not under leveled, it's actually not too hard and it's really fun, but it can still be challenging. No, maybe not. We can just give it to Please Virgil. We'll have to go to back to Afghanistan anyway. That's where Sahelanthropus and uh, the Lord of Dust is. Oh, it's you. We have a bit of a problem here. Oh, what's new? The program modifications were never finished. I'll play around with it. See if I can get it working. But my area of expertise is hardware. Might not want to get your hopes up. Um, mind if I take a look at it? Yeah, let Chris. He's a genius. Huh? You think you can fix this, kid? Hang on. I need to take a look first. Yeah, I think I can work with this. Well, I'll be. Kid, you are something else. <laughs> All right. We'll leave the Archaea Blades to Chris. I'll get the rail gun working. Where do that thing get a load of this? <laughs> Captain, we'll prepare the weapon. In the meantime, go get the energy we need to return home. Oh boy. You should find some information about the location of new singularity areas close to the FOB in the memory board you secured. Well, shit. How much energy do you think we'll need? From the data you just obtained, I've identified the location of a singularity. All right, Captain. Head for the Singularity and transport the wormhole digger. Oh, no. According to our projections, you'll be able to acquire from it the iris energy needed to return home. All right. We have to play defense. Oh, boy. It's normal. It's not bad, but you just need a lot of resources, um, basically. All right. So now we have to go that way. This is a cool little place. I wish the safe zones were bigger. Because the map is beautiful. And the dust is not beautiful. I don't know what saw me. But we're gonna keep on running. Alright, so I see a bridge. 
We need to go that way. So once we get to the bridge, we need to go in a straight direction, pretty much. I don't know why I picked up that plastic. There's an enemy and a lockbox. We're gonna come back for this lockbox. Should we just open it? Let's just open it. They're distracted by the loot that just fell out of the wormhole. Alright, it's a hard one. Ooh. Oops. Well, at least we failed it at the end of it. Ski mask, heavy sledgehammer, materials case. Thanks for the loot, boys. I remember this place. This is from uh, Phantom Pain also. I think this is the path you have to escort the, the kids from Africa, the prisoner kids. The rebels were holding them hostage. Or something. I'm pretty sure. Hopefully there's no assholes with those damn machine guns and rockets. And then we'll be able to do this one fine. Guys, I don't want to waste any resources or time on you because I don't know how long I will be out here. Alright. Oh, good. Yep, see, that's one of the jail cells. It leads to the tunnels where they were being held captive. I can't even hit him. Okay. Yeah, these guys are way too tough. Oh crap, I'm gonna have to kill him in order to progress. Yeah, that did a decent amount of damage. He's out of the picture. Didn't want to waste a grenade on him. Oh, good, there's another one. I was hoping there's going to be more. Have a grenade. All right, nice. I've damaged. I've I've, I've sprained things by dropping down drops that look like I would be able to clear them no problem. So I'm kind of uh, nervous when it comes to. Uh, Falling down. <laughs> Alright. Let's place this digger. Alright, they're gonna come through. They're only coming from two spots, so that's not bad. Actually, you know what? Let's take a look. Because sometimes they're deceiving. Really? Who sees me? Oh, you. I love the spear. Can't help it. Um, let's get a fence up. And I have to watch two spots, and they're both in the same direction, so that is uh, perfect. There's an explosive barrel right there. Alright, I got my 45. I got my uh, 44. I got this, which I don't even know what this is. I don't know. It looks like, I don't know, it's some sort of an assault rifle. All right, let's start it up. Let's hope, let's hope that this isn't a pain in the ass. Let's convert some oxygen. How long do we have to do this for? Wow, three and a half minutes for wave one. That's uh. That's a lot. Protect the digger. And another thing I learned is, well, at least online, every wave you complete, when this thing blows up, after every wave, it destroys all your defenses. So only place what you need. I don't know if it does it in the campaign or not. But don't place anything you're not going to use at this in this wave. That's one thing I've learned. All right, so it looks like you're going to come down here first. Oh yeah, this thing does work. This is the first time I used it on an enemy, to be honest. I used it on boxes uh, when I was looting, like wooden boxes and barrels. I never used it on an enemy, and then I traded it out for the bow. 
because shortly after I made this, I got the the uh, recurve bow. Why don't you come down here, dude? Join your friends. So as long as there's no bombers, we'll be perfectly fine with this. All right, we got some coming from two different paths now. Uh, looks like they're going to come from this side, maybe. Yep. Keep them off the fence. That's all we can do. Oh, they're doing a lot of damage to the fence. We're barely even touching it that long. Line up, boys. I I killed him. All right, so this fence isn't going to hold for another another wave. All right. We need to spread out our supplies so that we don't waste them all in the first wave like we did last time. We're walking dead, these guys' asses. Through the fence. There's quite a bit of them. here now. Oh, great. Yeah, we're going to have to put up another fence. Oh, no, they're coming from the other side, I think. Oh, we got it. Let's see if it destroys my fences when this thing goes off. Oh, it only does it online. Good. I thought I had a... Oh no. I crafted wooden barricades, but I didn't get them in my inventory. Shit. Oh, so, I don't have anything else to use after this. No. Alright. Get in a straight line, I can get more than one at a time. Oh wow, this barricade's almost destroyed already. See, if I would've had my barricades like I thought I did, we would have a much better chance. Ouch. Yeah, this is not good. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, shit, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Well, this fence is no good. I thought it looked like a big guy. It was two of them in one. Ugh. All right, looks like they're coming from this side now. Oh, and then they're coming back from that side, too. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is bad. Where are they coming from? Is there a way I... Oh, no. Is there a spot I don't know about? Well, if there wasn't, there is now. They're coming down here. Shit. It's bad. It's bad. This is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. Have a grenade. That'll help. Oh shit.
Did you get up? Oh shit. Now's not the time for this. Don't ask how we're getting through the last wave. I do not know. Alright, we might be able to do this. Shit. Um, shit, I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. Well, nice. Let's try to hit him with this. We can figure out where they are. Come on, where are they at? Right. Come on, they're running. Let's see, was that too far? I only got four of them. There's a big dude coming. Good. All right, so there's more coming from over there. Maybe I can blow these guys up. I got a bunch of them. Shit. I have to use my ammo to make sure that we get them down faster. That's all there is to it. Oh, how the hell did you get through? Alright, minute 45. We can do this. We can do this. We've done worse. We have been through worse. Where are they coming from? Keep an eye on the remaining oxygen. Captain. Supply yourself with oxygen by using sun energy. You can I'm aware. Alright. There's a bunch coming from up here. Oh no, not one of these guys. All right, he's down. Oh no, we're out. Hey, he's trying to destroy my mortar. Twenty-seven seconds. I think we can do this. Where's my good Molotovs? Oh, we still have grenades, too. Oh, good. Oh, we got this. We got it! Woo! There better not be another wave. Ah. Oh. Six fences. That is all we had. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I can report to you that the Lord of Dust has begun its move toward base camp. Good times. This is earlier than expected. Let's go over the details of the operation one more time. Yeah, actually, let's go over the details because you were pretty vague about the operation in general. First. Place the Archaea blade trap in the projected movement area. Okay. Lead the target into the trap. 
which will prevent it from moving. Then destroy it with the railgun. It's not going to be that easy, is it? While the plan is by no means perfect, we are forced to act now. I do have a bit of good news. The kid did it. He completed the defense support program. The core had some theories about it, but it was too complex, and they gave up on implementing it. With this, we'll be able to take units the core prepared and send them in around the trap. Should come in handy for the battle. That is fantastic. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of flesh. That's not a proverb either. Oh, forget it. Captain, the final battle is at hand. Onwards to victory. Oh boy. A new stage is now playable in salvage missions. Look at all the stuff we brought back. <clears throat> I have 14 items that can be harvested. Holy crap. Okay, let's move on to final preparations. Craft the Archaea Blade Trap. Alright, we'll do this next time, don't worry. Let's open up these four material cases. They're blue ra um, rarity. Please be something good. Damn it. I was really hoping that there was going to be something in there that I needed to repair uh, one of my weapons. Alright. Um, it says I can craft something over here. What is it? Oh, plated ski mask. It weighs less than half of what mine is, but it's got just slightly less defense. Uh, let's head back to our, uh, what's it called? Base camp. We're at our uh, forward operating base right now. Let's uh, head back to the base camp. Okay. Okay, let's move on to final preparations. Craft the Archaea Blade Trap. Not right this second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come around here and I'm going to collect all my stuff. Uh, we're going to see if I can craft any of my resources that I used in the last mission. And then after that, we'll end the episode. And next time, we will uh, finish this, hopefully. Well, not hopefully. I mean hopefully as in we don't fail it. Not hopefully because I want it to end. Uh, Reeve is sick. He ate poison food. Don't ask me how. Uh, let's let's heal him with some intestinal medicine. Okay. Um, I can level up. Let's grab uh, milk, milk, caracal, mutton, and sheep liver. Uh, we got some cashmere goat meat. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, Golden Crescent. This only produces two, really? Uh, potatoes. Potatoes. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. And finally, isn't this the Chinese? Yeah, Chinese plantain. Okay. Mmm. Looks like everything. Uh, let's try to let's let's check on ammo first. Craft. I can craft the flame bat, uh, the heavy sledgehammer. Let's see. It's my 45. Here's my 556, five, and 44. Well, I do have enough copper, maybe. Let's craft it by the 20s. Oh, it takes a lot longer to craft. Would you look at that? All right. Um, now we're crafting by twos, apparently. No big deal. Let's see how much we can craft for the final fight. We're going to need it, I have a feeling. Oh, man. We're going to have no ammo. We're not going to have any copper left. Oh, shit. Yeah. Well, that's all the cop That's all the bullets we can make. 72 bullets. Shit. Um, gear, change equipment. See, I want to know why. Actually, let's change back to the bow. Um, I want to know why I only have three slots up here now. I used to have a lot more. 
Wooden barbed wire barricades. Let's, let's, uh, let's add those. Does that have something to do with this? Uh... I don't know. That's for the quiver. This is for carrying weight. Small left gadget sling. Let's try, let's try that once. Let's see. Yeah, now I can hold two more things, so... That carrying weight thing was what screwed me over. Alright. That explains it. Let's put wooden barricades in here. Alright. Craft. We need more Molotovs because we used a bunch of them. See, it's making it seem like you don't... Like this is the final fight and you, it's going to be just as simple as... Hey, what did I just do? I thought I made Molotovs. Okay, I don't know. They're trying to make it sound like it's going to be as simple as trapping them and shooting them and it's dead. It's not going to be that simple. We're going to have to defend against all kinds of shit. You know it. It's a typical video game thing for one. And two, the Metal Gear games are not very easy. <laughs> they don't... It's, it's, never, it's never straightforward and easy. So... I don't expect this to be... All right, game. All right. Um, oh yeah, we need to craft another mortar. Oh, we can take a, we can craft one of these. A little heavy machine gun turret, like a portable one. Nice. All right. All right, I think we're set. We are ready. Oh yeah, we're ready. All right, next time we will build the uh, thing we need to make. Is this it? Special. Uh oh. It's taking a while. It's saving. Am I gonna get kicked out? Okay, we're good. I have to wait for the, re the report to go away. I have to wait for the base information to go away. Um, there are no facilities that can be re repaired. I'm not trying to repair it. I'm trying to build it. Oh, I need a, I need four sensor units and titanium alloy. What? I don't... I've never even seen sensor units. And I've only seen titanium alloy a couple of times. Well, shit. Alright, looks like I'm gonna go off camera and search for those things. And then when we get back, we will uh, build those traps and we will uh, take down the Lord of Dust. So this is Metal Gear Survive. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I'm loving this game. I hope you are. And uh, hopefully I will see you next time. <laughs>